Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will be showing you my uh, my gadget one for gadgetry class. Um, this gadget is a home humidity sensor and alarm. Um, you can see the two digits here, those are uh, displaying the current humidity. Um, and right now you can see it's at 37% humidity. To test the sensor I can blow on it and the humidity will go up. I'll show you real quick. As you can see there, the humidity went up to about 43%, and it'll it'll gradually back uh, drop back down. Um, now, what makes this uh, gadget special is it also can act as a, as an alarm. Um, you can see here, here's the set alarm button, the green button here. If you press that button for a couple seconds, you'll see that it'll start to blink. Um, right now, you can see that the alarm is set at 67%. Um, so I want to actually demonstrate the alarm to you. So let me let me uh, put it down to oh about forty forty two percent. Let's see, forty percent. There we go, forty percent. I'll press the button. Now the alarm will go off at forty. As you can see, it, it went on uh, briefly because it, it, um, the current humidity is around thirty nine or forty. Um, if I blow on it again, the alarm will go back off. So as long as as long as the uh, alarm is above 40, it'll go off. And this can hopefully, you know, you can put it somewhere like your basement. You can even put it in a uh, cigar box to make sure that your everything is uh, the correct humidity. And it's annoying. It'll make and it'll uh, hopefully prompt you to do something to make the humidity go down. Um, but for now, uh, it'll take a few seconds to drop back down to the to the actual humidity. But if you press the button again, the the sound will turn off. It'll start blinking again. It'll let me set the value back up. Um, for now, I'm going to set the humidity up high so the alarm doesn't go off. It's up at 99% humidity. I'll press the button again, and it'll go back to showing the current humidity. Um, so now you've seen how it functions. I'll show you the case a little bit. As you can see here is the actual potentiometer on the bottom of the gadget. Um, it's just a little thumb wheel. Works pretty well. Allows you to set it from 99 to 100, or I'm sorry, zero to 99. Um, you can see here is the uh, is the mini USB plug. Um, allows you to charge the device. Um, there is a battery. However, the battery won't last uh, won't last very long. So if you're putting this anywhere for any length of time, you'll want to actually plug it in. Um, and then on on the front is are the ISPs. Um, maybe later I can cover those up. But for now, the, it allows me to actually uh, program the device while it's in the in the box in the uh, actual polymorph case. Um, the case is polymorph. I was I um, heated the polymorph pellets up and then sandwiched them between uh, two pieces of glass and was able to get them flat enough to act as a case and then I was able to use a razor, cut them, cut it up and then join them together um, by heating it up with a lighter. Um, the hole on the top here is the humidity sensor and these two holes are for the actual buzzers to uh, make their annoying buzzing sound. Um, you can see that it is entirely enclosed. Um, my It's held together by a couple of screws that I bought at Home Depot. Um, and then the front, you can see actually that the, the nuts are flush with the device. Um, I just I heated up the polymorph and then just press the uh, press the bolts down into it. Um, creates a little nice nice little device. Um, so when it when it is actually plugged in to the wall, it'll have another little have this little LED inside there that'll have the front of it glow, so you can tell it's charged so that you tell it's charging. Um, so. So that's the device. Uh, there, there are rooms for later upgrades. There's actually another uh, place for another sensor or another potentiometer to be added. Um, I could later add functionality for a lower, uh, lower range um, for the humidity sensor for the humidity alarm to go off. Um, but for now, this is this is where I'm at. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, have a good night.